Can freezing a terminally ill person and thawing them out when a cure is available really bring them back to life? The world's first frozen person, American physicist James Bedford, underwent cryopreservation in 1967. Experts drained Bedford's blood, replacing it with a biological antifreeze to prevent tissue damage. His body was then cooled naturally before being placed upside down in liquid nitrogen at 196 degrees Celsius for preservation. This process, with approximately 350 individuals cryopreserved worldwide, leaves many questions unanswered. Despite 56 years since the inception of cryonics, cancer and other diseases remain unconquered. Cryonically preserved individuals still await revival, hoping for medical breakthroughs. However, skepticism persists. Some believe revival post-thawing is biologically implausible, violating natural laws. Others view cryonics as a money-making scheme 